Little Production. Alright folks, so I was wrong, I'm actually not on the 600, which my buddy Omega is on. I am on the GSX-S, no, GSX-R now, sorry, not the S, I'm on the Jix-R 750. So that'll be interesting to go from 750 to 750, but we'll get out there and ride and see what we think. I don't even know what mode I'm in. I don't even know if this has modes. I'm sure it does. Alright folks, so this is actually my very first uh, proper sport bike, so this will be very interesting. Got to make sure I put my feet in the right spot. Wow, that's really up there. That'll be interesting. This is so weird. My legs are up so high and lean so far forward. Woo! This thing will go. Good grief. Alright folks, so we are out here, <laughs> I messed it up already, we're on the GSX-R 750, so I just rode the Jix-S 750 and now I'm on the Jixer 750, uh, this is my first proper sport bike, I can tell you what, it's fun, but I would not want to ride around in this position for very long, uh, my feet are way up, you know, and, I mean you're, you're on a sport bike, I mean that's, there's not, there's not much else to say, right? But uh, honestly, it is um, pretty smooth. Um, you can tell this thing wants to, to go, go, go. I got my buddy here on the, on the 600. He's actually ridden that bike before, but uh, he's actually considering buying that as a, as a next bike upgrade from his R3, um, which would be fun. All right, so I was actually trying to have the, the gentleman uh, help me with the rider modes, and even he couldn't figure it out. So to be honest, I don't know if there is rider modes or not. I'm going to assume that there is and that it's just more complicated than he was wanting to deal with in order to, to get it set. I didn't really want to be in kill mode on this being my first sport bike and everything, but that's okay. I feel a lot of weight on my hands, and I could just be doing it wrong, but I feel like a lot of pressure's on my hands to kind of hold me up and everything, but that's okay. Even down at these low RPMs, I mean, I'm 3,500 RPM. It, it has a little bit of pull, I mean, so that's pretty cool. Put it, put it down in second gear. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> just blipping the throttle. You can just, man, it's ready to go. It's awesome. I hope I look sexy on this thing. I, I hope, I just hope I do. Let's see how easy is it to find neutral. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. I just want to go fast. I'm sorry I'm not saying much. I actually, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm so terrible at these things, right? I don't really know what to say. It is not as scary to ride as I thought, but I can see how you can get yourself into an immense amount of trouble very quickly on something like this. And honestly, all that I want to do is get out on the highway and do zero to 100 real quick. Oops, missed neutral there. Get out of neutral first. Your indicator's nice. Ah, uh, see, it is, it is being a little bit of a jerk. I wish we got out on the highway. I'd love to give this thing a good old rip. It actually isn't like that twitchy down here in the low. I mean, like, yeah, it'll go, but like, it's just kind of funny because it's not like, you know, jerking along or barely running. I mean, it will go slow. It doesn't like to, but it will do it, which is funny. Oh yeah, this is cool. You can get nice and tucked in here. So yeah, I mean this this thing's pretty cool. Um, I uh, I do enjoy it, but I could not ride around on this thing for hours. Just not for me. But it's one thing that I do like is that it sounds incredulous, and that is a word I made up just for this moment. 
Yeah, I feel a lot of weight on my hands, which I don't. Oh, good grief. Ugh. Trying to like re grip my hands, but it's funny when you let out the throttle, there's a good amount of engine braking when you're in the real low gears. So you gotta be kind of smooth on the throttle. That guy's got his turn signal on. Ugh. Bump, bump. Yeah, my hands would be hurting. I need to work out more. Bump. See, I don't want to cruise at such a low RPM. I wanted to put it up in fourth just to see how it would feel. But even in fourth year, I mean, 4,000 RPM. I mean, it'll it'll zip up there, which is awesome. Um, as with all my test rides, I have no idea about any stats on this bike. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how much power it has. It's more than I can afford, pal. Ferrari. I think that was Fast and the Furious quote. My bad. I will say my buttocks and my legs are kind of warm. I don't know if that's just because we're going so slow or whatever, but it is pretty toasty on this thing. Um, I don't know that you, well, this is not the kind of bike to buy to run around town. So, you know, if you're going to look at something like this and you're like, oh, I commute around town a lot and all that kind of stuff. Nope. Nope. Just say no. Go get something like that 750 up there, the uh, the GSSS, uh, GSXS 750, the upright one. You'd have a lot more fun running around town on that than you would on something like this. But I can certainly see a place in life for these. Um, it's just not for me. But what an incredible machine. I'll tell you one thing though, I am addicted to bikes. I love bikes, 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 bikes. Now this corner's a joke on this bike. It just leans, I mean like, so easy. Anything. This is a terrible test ride. I'm so sorry. I hope you all still like me. No, but this this bike is fun. Um, I don't I don't know what to say. The, these demo rides are not great for certain types of bikes and, and their styles because uh, this bike is like uh, these speeds and these corners are just a joke for a bike like this. Which is kind of funny. Hey, I found neutral that time. That's amazing. So, our ride is almost over. Uh, I am sad to get off of this lovely machine. Uh, but, man, what a bike. Uh, I need to ride a 600. I need to see what that feels like. Um, this thing actually does have a little bit of down low power. And I'm sure that it just absolutely screams when you're able to really tack it out. Um, sorry I wasn't able to do that for you guys today. I hope you still had fun, though. I had a blast. I always have a blast on the demo rides. I mean, it's free bike riding, why not? I think overall though, I do much more enjoy that 750 uh, Naked. Uh, I know it's basically a very similar engine to this, but I personally just enjoy that type of bike a lot more. Well, I hope you guys had a blast. I hope that this makes you go and buy a Gixxer 750. Tell the Suzuki that I sent you, because I don't know why, but I had a blast, I hope you had a blast, and I will see you again on the next one. Alright guys, one last look at the Gixxer 750. And this guy. And that guy. And those guys. Alright, there you go. One last look at the Gixxer 750.